Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna be showing you uh, something a little bit different today. I'm not gonna be cooking or baking. Gonna, I'm just gonna show you what I use uh, when I do bake. So first of all, with this stand mixer, it's only really um, a dial. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It literally ha only has, uh, it's got five levels of speed. To be honest, I probably never go higher than two, maybe three, because I feel like it's kind of hard to tell exactly when medium, it, where medium is and where high is. So I, yeah, I usually stop at around three or four. Uh, the the appliances that it came with is uh, currently the dough hook, which I currently have uh, in. I use this a ton with um, most like most doughs. Uh, the second attachment it comes with is a whisk, and the third is I'm not sure what you call it, a mixer. Haven't really so it wasn't too costly. I think I, I think it was like maybe 150 bucks or something like that. Not much. Uh, to open and close, it's literally just that. Click, done. You turn it on and you start mixing. This is the first real cookbook I um, have really ever gotten um, by Joshua Wiseman. Love his videos. He's hilarious, but knows his stuff. Um, this is the. This is. I'll actually just show you. Um, this is where I learned all the steps in creating a uh, sourdough starter. Uh, yep. This is the famous. Uh, basic sourdough bread, which I've made many of. He's got, obviously, he's got a ton of other stuff which I have um, made. Uh, like I've, I've made his cookies, I've made uh, cinnamon scrolls. Love it, great. On to the second greatest cookbook. <laughs> uh, um, so this dessert person, I recently got it from um, Amazon as well as uh, Joshua Weissman's. It's a very, it's a very thick book, and she goes through, I'd say, probably slightly more detail. Uh, but this is very, it isn't just sweets. It does have um, like a lot of you know bread recipe, pies, layered cakes, cookies. You name it, um, you know, we'll even, we'll even help you make a crock and bush. I'm never going to attempt that, ever. But I've made a few, um, like I've made a couple of like loading recipes, which I've, I've also got on my uh, channel. These are very uh, basic tools, but nonetheless very important. This is a measuring cup, but the reason I like it, it makes it a lot easier to know exactly how many mils and or cups or quarter of a cups um, because of the way um, it's built. So, you know, as you pour water, you can't mess it up. It, it's, it's great. For my uh, sourdough baking, I use, uh, I believe they're called balls, balls or something, not sure. A bamboo kind of, uh, made bowl and the idea is that when you uh, put your bread your bread dough into here you're actually the lines in here will give you a really nice uh, detail um, pattern on your bread as opposed to this one which you know you, this does come off but uh, this does help with making it a little bit easier to clean up because as you can see, there's still like bits of bread and, I mean, bits of um, excess flour still in the crevices, but that's kind of what you've got to do to make sure it doesn't stick inside of these. You've got to really powder it up. 
But with this one, you still have to powder it up, but you don't really have to be as intense about it. These two do make life a lot easier when it comes to um, baking the sourdough breads. This is my, uh, this is a food processor. Which I don't use a ton on my channel just because I do find it very, uh, very loud, very time consuming, especially the cleanup. But it does have its uses, especially with nuts and vegetables, uh, fruits, that kind of thing, those kinds of uh, items, because it's just, it will, you know, chop them up, make it a lot easier. Two separate settings. One, you've got just a plain, you know, straight pulse. And then you've got the, um, these other ones, which pulsing just allows you go, like, quickly, as opposed to these ones, which it'll just keep going and going and going until you turn it off. It does come with a few optional things, which like comes with these as well. Which I can't actually remember where I got it, but I love it. Quite dirty, you can just see the, the use out of it. Love, uh, my main, what I like about it is, is, you know, when I'm making like scrolls, it's got, um, it's got a ruler on each side, <laughs> um, inches and centimeters. And if I'm trying to, you know, cut a specific amount of scrolls, literally just uh, bring the roll down here and use this and chop it up. It makes life a lot easier. If you're making uh, pizzas, which I haven't actually done yet, but I might. Um, this is, you know, that's going to be really helpful. As you can see, it actually tells you how big it's going, the pizza is going to be. All right, um, that's pretty much most of what I use. Um, there are a couple of little bits. I have a, um, I believe it's called a, a dough whisk, a spatula, and a dough scraper. Use this a ton when I'm working with wet doughs, um, and it makes life a lot easier for me um, scooping it out of the metal bowls. I use this a lot with um, the sand mixer. It actually came with the sand mixer because, uh, you know, a lot of the time you've got to uh, scrape down the bowl, make sure you're collecting um, any excess flour or butter. And yeah, uh, hope you guys like it. It's, you know, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit different and probably, you know, next video would definitely be back to baking or cooking. Thanks guys. Bye.